The Kansas City Chiefs report is presented by Manscaped. Go to manscaped.com and use promo code CHIEFS for only Chiefs Kingdom. Don't let the Chargers fans, Broncos fans know. Promo code CHIEFS on manscaped.com to get 20% off plus free shipping. The NFL Draft is in the books, and we are going to hand out some grades here on the Chiefs report for every single draft pick by Brett Veach, plus an overall draft grade at the end of the video, so stay tuned for that as we go along here. A pair of second-round picks will go in chronological order, of course. Nick Bolton, the linebacker out of Missouri. We've talked about both, most of these picks on uh, prior shows, but grades uh, on today's video. I like this pick. I didn't think linebacker, especially off-ball linebacker, was the biggest need for Kansas City. It was certainly a need. I just don't value that position as much in today's NFL. But we had heard the connection. Obviously, he played at Missouri. They were able to watch him locally. Uh, that made it easy. You could do visits a lot easier as well. Modern linebacker, a little undersized, 5'11", 237. But sideline to sideline guy, I think he's a three-down linebacker in today's NFL. I'll give it a B. It's a good pick for a position of need, but I think there were better options. I would have gone Ter uh, Terrace Marshall Jr., the wide receiver out of LSU. He was the best player on the board at that time, but it's a good player at a position that you needed to upgrade at. I like the pick of Nick Bolton. I just didn't love it. That's why I'll give it a B. Chiefs video is all off-season long, so hey, now's the time to subscribe to the Kansas City Chiefs report. A lot of channels, they'll take a break after the NFL draft. They'll go on vacation. We're not going anywhere. We're going to continue to pump out four, five, six videos per week. So hit that big red button. Share that link below with a friend. It's youtube.com slash Chiefs TV. Let's continue to grow this channel so we can do more videos here on the Chiefs report. Round two, pick number 63, Creed Humphrey, the center out of Oklahoma. One of my favorite picks in this entire NFL draft. I liked it quite a bit. And we'll see who ends up starting at center. Austin Blythe, Creed Humphrey, maybe it's a competition. Maybe they treat this year as a redshirt year for Creed Humphrey. Blythe is a veteran who played pretty well last year for the LA Rams. But make no mistake, this is your long-term option at center. And it's become clearer and clearer after free agency of the draft and the Orlando Brown trade that Brett Veach basically said, we're never letting Mahomes deal with what he did in the Super Bowl where he was literally running for his life. A minus selection of Creed Humphrey. I like the pick a lot. Short term, we'll see as far as 2021 goes, but long term, Probably the best pick in this draft for Kansas City. I think you got your center for the next decade. I think he'll be good. You know how many sacks he gave up in three seasons at Oklahoma? Yeah, that'd be zero. <laughs> That's pretty darn impressive for Creed Humphrey. He's a floor general on the offensive line. Like him quite a bit. Just a solid player overall. A-minus pick for Kansas City. Good value at pick number 63. What's your favorite round two pick, though? They had a couple of them here. Type NB for Nick Bolton. Type uh, CH for Chris Humphrey, both good picks. I like the Humphrey one better. I think he'll be more impactful during his time in Kansas City. So go ahead and get your votes in NB or CH. Joshua Kando has no third round pick. So we go to round four, the edge out of Florida State. Kind of a boom or bust type of selection here, but I like the swing by Kansas City. I like the upside potential. Former five-star recruit, never really put it all together at Florida State. Only made 10 career starts, but he's flashed at times. He's got the ability in there somewhere. B minus, because really this could end up going either way, right? Two years from now, we could be like, wow, that was the steal of the draft. We could also be like, oh, he probably won't make the 53-man roster. It's really that up or down for Joshua Kando. I think this could go either way, but edge was a need. You need some depth after Frank Clark. You need some competition. We'll see who ends up being the other edge starter. Maybe Chris Jones ends up starting at edge, and they go with a different option at defensive tackle next to uh, Derek Noddy. But B minus, we'll see a year or two years from now how this pick actually ends up playing out for Kansas City. Manscaped is always A+, plus, and uh, hey, we got a promo code to get you 20% off all of their men's grooming products. Go to manscaped.com and use promo code CHIEFS, brand new code just for you Chiefs fans. And hey, Manscaped, your balls are going to thank you if you go there because the Lawnmower 3.0, it shaves the family jewels downstairs. It gets tough. It gets rowdy on some of these products. I gave up on shaving my balls a long time ago. Manscaped hit me up there like Harrison. Give us a chance. Give us an opportunity. I was hesitant. 
but I trusted them. I used the Lawnmower 3.0. It changed my life. They also have ball toner, ball deodorant, this travel kit that you see on screen. It's fantastic. 20% off, manscaped.com. Use promo code Chiefs. That link will be in the comments. It'll be in the description. Don't forget, promo code Chiefs. Noah Gray, this was a trade-up by Kansas City in the fifth round. One that I, I have conflicting emotions on this pick, or thoughts, I should say. Maybe not emotions. It's day three. You shouldn't get too emotional about a day three pick. I'll give it a C plus, and here's why. The Duke tight end, positionally, I like it. We talked about this on the Chiefs report that I think they should take a tight end on day three because they've had issues behind Travis Kelsey at this position for a few years now. So I like it in that sense. I don't love trading up for Noah Gray. I think he would have been there at 175. They moved up from that to go up to 162. I think there were a couple of other, other tight ends on the board that I would have preferred. But you know what? I'm going to trust Brett Veach. I'm going to trust Andy Reid. They do what they do, and they're some of the best at what they do for a reason. So C+, because I like the positional thought. Don't love the trade-up. Not crazy about the prospect. A little bit undersized. Not sure about his upside as a blocker, but does have some athleticism, does have some receiving ability. We'll see. I think it's a good pick, good-ish pick. I would have not traded up for him, but C+, plus because it's above average because you needed to address tight end for some depth and competition, and Noah Gray will provide that. What is your favorite Chiefs draft pick? Obviously, it's not Noah Gray for me. I'll go Creed Humphrey. I, I just think it's as rock solid of a pick as you could have. Round two, pick number 63, a guy that I think you could have drafted in round one if you still had number 31 overall, and you get him toward the back end of round two. I think that's fantastic. Let me know, favorite Chiefs draft pick here in 2021. Maybe it's Cornell Powell. This is one of the better value picks uh, in this year's draft. The wide receiver out of Clemson. Kind of slowly, couldn't, you know, it worked his way up the depth chart at wide receiver, five-year player at Clemson, and then boom, 2020 breaks out. Seven touchdowns, over 800 receiving yards, had a 75-yard score, a couple of big plays and big moments this year as well. A, a, a rare grinder at a blue blood program, right? You, you don't see these five-year guys out of Clemson, Bama, Ohio State that go middle, late, day three, because typically those are, you know, second-round picks, but... He really worked his way into becoming an NFL draft draft prospect, which is appealing to me. Six foot, he's got some size at 205, 210 pounds as well. Gives the Chiefs a slightly different look at receiver, more of a possession guy. He's not the, you know, 5'9", 5'10", 4'3", type of guy like Tyree Killer, McCall Hardman. So a different look there. Intriguing competition at receiver. We talked about that as well leading up to the draft after Tyree Kill. There are some question marks, and I think uh, overall it's a good thing. I'll give it a B grade. Solid, above average pick here on day three of the NFL draft. I was a much bigger fan of this pick than Noah Gray. Just think of it this way. Powell at 162 and then Gray with this pick would have been just fine. So in the end, it works out for Kansas City. Maybe the best value pick of the entire draft, Trey Smith, the offensive guard out of Tennessee. And by the way, cool story here. After he was drafted, he proposed to his girlfriend. So congratulations to Trey and now his fiance. Unbelievable value. This is an A because he was a round two or three type of graded player. Now, he had blood clot issues in college, and he almost had to retire. That's probably why he slid here because there's a chance a couple of years from now maybe he can't play in the NFL. But late round six, a guy who I think is a starting caliber guard in this league, and remember at right guard, LaRon DuVernay-Tardif, who opted out last year and wasn't that good in 2019, and Kyle Long, who sat out a year to retirement and came back this year, those aren't exactly long-term answers at right guard. Maybe Smith sits behind those two for a year, learns from two solid veterans. Maybe he's your starting right guard in 2022. That's very much a possibility, and if that's the case in round six, that's fantastic. That's an A grade from me with Trey Smith out of Tennessee. So grade the Chiefs 2021 draft as a whole. All the picks combined, mesh it all together. How do you feel about it for Kansas City, for Brett Veach? A, B, C, D, or F. Get your votes in. And remember, there's no first-round pick, so you can factor that into your grade as well. If you're asking me, I'll go B+. There's no pick that I hate. There were a couple questionable ones. I'm not crazy about the Noah Gray pick, but positionally, I like it overall. B+. Overall grade for this draft. And you got to factor in Orlando Brown, too. 
think of it this way. You got Orlando Brown with pick number 31, and you got a second back. That in itself was an A-plus trade. So B-plus for the draft. You factor in Orlando Brown. Maybe it's more like an A-minus or an A. Brett Veach, he's one of the best in the business. He did fantastic once again. We're not having a first-round pick. So B-plus. Stay tuned to the channel. Chiefs undrafted free agency tracker coming your way on Sunday. Stay tuned for that and follow me on Twitter. We'll have updates throughout the weekend uh, on the Chiefs report and at HGRAM NFL.